Okay, is there a connection between stress and disease? Well, yes, that is a big connection. We all see it, but we never want to absorb it right in. Let's take a simple example to see how stress plays a major role in disease. Let's say a deer is comfortably standing in a meadow enjoying grass and let's say this deer has an infection inside it the immunity system of the deer is busy fighting with this infection so the deer is happily gazing the grass and the immunity system the small army the white blood cells inside the deer are busy fighting with this infection all of a sudden a lion comes into the meadow now what exactly happens with the deer at that moment the deer senses the lion the fight or flight response immediately gets triggered inside the deer all unessential operations inside the body are immediately suspended they are not required now yeah the deer needs to save its life. The blood from all the center parts of the body rushes to the extremities, to the hands and legs. In the case of the deer, to the legs. So that this guy can run real fast. The breathing becomes short. More oxygen is taken in. Sugar is released in the blood. So that energy is available in the blood now for the muscles to be able to use and run. When I said the non-essential operations stop, two of the main operations which stop are the immunity system and the growth system. So with the immunity system gone, that army which was fighting the infection inside the deer stops fighting. Because if the lion was to catch the deer, that infection would be the lion's problem yeah not essential at this moment at this moment it is essential to save life so with all these actions taken the deer starts running for his life he just runs let us say five minutes down the line the lion luckily is not able to catch the deer luckily for the deer that is what do you think you find the deer doing? You will find the deer is again back to grazing the grass as if nothing happened. The fight and flight response has been switched off. The body has normalized. The immunity system and the growth system is again on. And the small army of immunity system are busy fighting the infection again. Within no time... They may even succeed in fighting off the infection. But what happens with us human beings? The lion has not yet come. But the stress, the tension of the lion is already there. If the lion came and you saved yourself, then the fear of that lion stays with you for days, maybe months, maybe years. You don't find the deer after this incident going and collecting other deers and telling them, you know how big that lion was. You know how I ran just about to catch my tail and then I took a... No, the deer doesn't do all that. He simply moves on in life. Simply in the present moment, he's back to his grazing. He's free from that stress condition. But not us. We stick to those stress conditions for days and days together. What is happening inside us? The immunity system is shut down. The growth system is shut down. And with these two major systems shut down, how will we cater to any disease? If an infection is there inside our body, who is going to fight this infection? Who is going to replace those bad cells with new cells? And then 
the disease starts winning over us, becoming stronger and stronger. But if we learn to break away from stress, to relax, the body will be completely focused on fighting, on growing and keeping us healthy.